there are different ways to do the biopsies. For the primaries, you can do the so-called shaves like I had because the, my dermatologist had a very low suspicion this would be cancer or melanoma. She thought it was something else, but still wanted to get rid of it. So she did a shave biopsy. If you think something is a melanoma, you don't do a shave biopsy. Because in melanoma, the depth of the melanoma under the skin is important for outcome. And if you do a shave, sometimes you can't tell how deep it is because you shave right through the tumor. But in my case, it was not felt to be at all likely to be melanoma. So shave biopsy was fine. You would do a punch biopsy, which is literally, it looks like a little hole punch. And you, the hole punch has a sharp edge at the bottom. You literally bore with a twisting motion through the skin that you've anesthetized. It's very small, so the area that you've anesthetized would prevent any pain. And you then twist it and it takes out a tiny plug of skin. It's literally the size of a pencil eraser and not even as long as the eraser. And that gets dropped into formalin and that gets sectioned by the pathologist. Or you could do an excisional biopsy where you literally take an ellipse. An ellipse is a little oval and you take a tiny oval of skin bring the edges together, suture it or tie it together with a couple of stitches. And that you also drop into uh, the formalin to fix it so that the pathologist can take a look at it under the microscope. Uh, when melanoma spreads to other locations, uh, then things get a little more diverse. Uh, that's when you might have a lump or a mass. It could be a lymph node involved with melanoma. You could stick a needle in there skinny needle and suck out some of the cells and spread them on a slide. Or you could have a core biopsy where you have a thicker needle and you literally bore through the area and it takes, it's, it's like drilling for oil. It literally takes a core of tissue in the same way that a drilling bit for oil takes a core of rock out. And the core is very thin. It's literally like a millimeter, which is tiny, but uh, a millimeter under the microscope is still plenty of tissue. Uh, finally, the surgeon could simply remove or excise a skin or a lymph node abnormality, and you'll have a whole chunk of tissue to look at under the microscope. That's more definitive. The least definitive is the what we call the fine needle biopsy because you have the fewer cells, and that leaves you potentially open to errors.